Welcome to the Tennis Festival of the North, the biggest thing to happen to Minnesota tennis in a long time. With cameras rolling, over 3,000 tennis enthusiasts flocked to Eden Prairie High School to immerse themselves in the tennis world and watch world-class players compete. Today's events began with a USTA League Tennis Captain's Appreciation Breakfast with three-time Grand Slam singles champion Lindsay Davenport. Davenport spoke with the captains and answered questions during the breakfast. She then followed with a 45-minute question and answer session covering topics including her junior career, professional run, family life and the current state and future of tennis. The clinic continued with more demonstrations and guest speakers from all across the country. Participants were able to attend valuable on and off court sessions and learn from what the speakers had to offer. Also running was a vendor show and game zone area for kids and adults. Festival goers could partake in all sorts of tennis activities and check out a lot of merchandise. We're organizing the silent auction. We have 92 items. Autographed to Rafael Nadal. Picture right there. Lifetime fitness memberships. Wine baskets. Maria Sharapova's Nike Air Zoom shoe. You can actually be guests of the USTA president in the president suite at the US Open. You name it, I think we got it. After the morning session, participants headed over to the Mall of America, where they had the chance to try out Quick Start Tennis, the new beginner play format for ages 5 to 10. Really it's about introducing the sport to people that might not have a great uh, feel for what tennis is about, and trying to get the little kids to play. And that's a lot of times in my heart the most fun, is seeing the little kids develop the racket and learn how to play for the first time. Jeff Tarango and Martina also stopped by to say hello to the crowd. Here with legend Martina Navratilova, Mall of America, Rotunda. First of all, Martina, did you ever think they could put a couple of quick start, uh, quick start courts right here in the mall? Well, that's the beauty of the quick start. It fits pretty much anywhere. You can even have it in your home. This is sized for them. The ball doesn't move so fast. The racket's not so heavy. I wish I'd had this when I was five years old. But it's a perfect way for kids to get started and feel successful. Following the quick start demonstration and afternoon sessions was the VIP reception. VIPs enjoyed free transportation, food, drink and courtside seating to the evening's exhibitions. Attendees were also given the opportunity to have their pictures taken with Martina and Lindsay and then enjoy a private hitting session with the players. Saturday evening's exhibition, featuring Davenport, Naratalova, Tarango and Wheaton, was the highlight of the weekend as over 3,000 people packed into the Eden Prairie High School gym to see them compete. First up was a men's doubles match, pitting Tarango and Ishe Hadash against the Minnesota duo of Wheaton and Revan Stevens. Tarango and Hadash took the set 6-3 with some outstanding shot making. Navratilova and Davenport then duped it out. Navratilova eventually prevailing 6-3. For the finale, Wheaton and Martina took on Davenport and Tarango in a mixed doubles battle. The matches were followed by all four players addressing the crowd and signing autographs for everyone in attendance. Sunday's activities opened with Naratilova giving an in-depth personal interview for the clinic attendees. Arguably the greatest women's tennis player in history, Martina wowed the crowd with stories from the tour, her personal life and advice for up-and-coming players. More sessions followed as well as one final doubles exhibition featuring Luke Jensen, Mehdi Benyepka, Wheaton and Tarango. In a doubles clinic, Wheaton and Tarango took down the ambidextrous Jensen to cap off the festival. 
From Friday evening's demos and drill session to Sunday's conversation with Martina, the 2010 Tennis Festival of the North was a huge success and will hopefully be a yearly staple for Minnesota tennis. From adults to kids, it's fantastic to see everyone out and excited about tennis and to be a part of this event in the first year is really great. I really want it to be outside next year, sometime around December or January, to get the real northern experience. My only regret is that there couldn't have been more people here.